Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ has risen. He is risen indeed. No my heart and my kite. Rafa Kamutinga or Tine Kopapa. Welcome to the last day of Holy Week, uh, Easter Sunday. Today a reading from Psalm 16, Luke 24, and then a final reflection. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out liberations of blood to such gods or take up their name on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with your joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And now reading from Luke chapter 24, verses 36 to 49. While the disciples were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking that they had seen a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what was written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And so as our journey into Holy Week comes to an end, a final reflection the whole time, Israel had been waiting for God's king. Oppressed by the Romans and faced with a corrupt temple, many in Jesus' day had put their hope in the re-establishment of David's kingdom. And so they failed to grasp the depth of what God's Messiah would accomplish. His victory was not simply over Rome, but over death itself. And now, here is Jesus, who died, standing among them, not dead, in fact, fully alive. The fact of him, victorious over death, shines through the whole of Israel's history. Now in his presence, he opens their minds so that they can understand the scriptures. Now all that Israel and we with her have waited for is beginning, the reign of God in the midst of his enemies through his spirit-filled people. Everything written in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms is fulfilled in the resurrection life of Jesus the King. As you come before him today in praise, Ask him to open your mind so you might understand the scriptures and be clothed with his power and glory. And so glorious Lord of life, we praise you that by the mighty resurrection of your son, you have delivered us from sin and death and made your whole creation new. Grant that we who celebrate with joy Christ rising from the dead may be raised from the death of sin to life of righteousness. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.